business before we get talking. The management of the World Bank and International Monetary Fund, together with Moroccan authorities, have agreed to hold their 2023 annual meetings in Marrakesh, despite recent devastating earthquake in the country. This is contained in a statement directly signed by the World Bank uh, President Ajabanga, IMF Direct Managing Director Kristalina Jujiver, and uh, the Kingdom of Morocco's Minister of Economy and Finance, Nadia Fathia Alaoui. The meeting are scheduled to hold between October 9 and 15, just some 72 kilometers from the site uh, of the 6 to 8 magnitude earthquake. Since the devastating earthquake in Morocco on September 8, the World Bank and the IMF staff have worked in close coordination with the Moroccan authorities and team of experts uh, to thoroughly access Marrakesh's capacity to host the 2023 annual meetings. The World Bank plays a key role in global efforts in a, uh, to end extreme poverty and boost shared prosperity. With just a year into the launch uh, in Nigeria, the fifth generation network has hit half of a million. This is according to the executive chairman, Nigerian Communications Commission, Professor Umar Dambata. Professor Dambata disclosed that the nation's broadband penetration also rose to 47.01%. In, uh, as of July 2023. In July, the prof stated that 5G subscriptions had grown to over 60,000 subscriptions in the country. According to him, the country was aiming to achieve 50% broadband penetration by the end of 2023 and 70% broadband penetration by the end of 2025. He said besides following uh, the authorization of more telecommunications companies to operate in the Nigerian telecom sector, the investment profile has increased from $38 billion in 2015 to $75 billion currently, and this keeps growing daily. He said the NCC has generated over $847.8 million for the federal government from the sales of 5GC band Spectrum. Now, President Bola Tinumbu is set to address world